<laughs> All that for a car? Why is this group so happy in Louisville? Well, you are about to see. They are part of a unique club of car owners who have an extreme number of miles with virtually no hassle. How can that be? Well, when I started looking into this, I found they have one thing in common. One stable at a time. They're celebrating every trip they make in this well-worn truck. So she talks to you? Sure does. It's kind of a boop, 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 pop sound and, and just a low, deep rumble. And that's good. That's what we like. So we decided to drive 150 miles round trip down here to Greene County. It's horse country, but we're looking for a workhorse of a different kind. Paul and Jennifer Eastridge are counting their good fortune, thanking the auto gods for this 19-year-old Dodge Dakota. I call it a blessing. We was blessed. 505,847. It just keeps on going. So why do some car engines go the distance while others give up the ghost so quickly? We asked ProBuild owner Keith Tennell in Jeffersonville. There's no mystery. It's the blood that we're all running on ourselves. You have to have the oil or you have no engine. And Brandon Shuffett of Shuffett's in Louisville. He's seen the nightmares. We've had some come in bone dry with less than 50,000 where people just don't change them. I bought it new, sight unseen, over the telephone. Eastridge and his wife used their 2000 Dodge Dakota as their shoeing truck, taking care of horses across South Central Kentucky. Paul changes the oil every 5,000 miles with always a careful ear pointed this way. Oh, there's all kinds of just uh, noises, uh, thumping and knocking and a pecking that you wouldn't want to hear. They know the good ride may end at any moment, but they've decided at a half million miles with two girls raised riding in it, it's family. They will rebuild the engine. I will not part with it. It's party time in Lake Forest of Eastern Jefferson County. Woo-hoo, a million miles. The guest of honor, this well-traveled 2007 Honda CRV. Joel and Susan Cram are throwing this one-of-a-kind party. For their loyal car, its big moment is just miles away. 60 miles to go. We can go a million today. We can load it up and go. <laughs> you heard him right. Joel Cram showed me what a young oil change mechanic did when he looked at the odometer on this 2007 Honda. It's the guy's like, <laughs> You're that guy with all those. His secret every 7,000 miles. Change the oil. Is this the original engine? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Original you, engine. You've not had it rebuilt? Nope. So you've basically spent what on maintenance on this car? Ridiculously little. The Million Mile Party at Lake Forest brought out Million Mile Mimosas, Million Mile Muffins, Million Mile Babies, <laughs> and a party to ride out the final miles to one million. The car's name is Lorraine. It's time to say so long. Well, I love Lorraine. She's been a good gal, and we've had lots of fun memories and good trips in her. Still two miles, still two miles. <laughs> now the final two miles to a million. The odometer, 999,998. And at 1 million, this is what the odometer did. Froze at 999.999. A great party to say, she's now for sale. Who's gonna buy a car with a million miles? That is a good question, and I do. I, I wanna sell it. <laughs> they had a lot of fun. Well, so how did Joel put so many miles on that car? Well, he is an industrial salesman who travels a lot regionally from Louisville to Chattanooga, Knoxville, Lexington, and all back over again, even into Georgia. By the way, I love all the photos that you've been sending me of your odometers. Check out our Facebook page right now, and you can go ahead and post your amazing mileage. Can't wait to see what's there.